Hello, and welcome to the UK Parliament Week Big Assembly. In this video, we'll be focusing on the journey of a parliament, from state opening all the way through a parliamentary session to the end of a parliament. We'll find out what happens along the way. We'll get a behind the scenes look at what it's like to work in some of the different jobs here. And we'll find out what schools across the UK have been doing to learn more about UK Parliament. The UK Parliament makes new rules and new laws to make the United Kingdom a better place. It's made up of two houses, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. It's where debates take place on whether a law should uh, be done or if it shouldn't. So there are two chambers, one for the House of Lords and one for the House of Commons. That's where the MP sit. There is a speaker in the in the House of Commons and there is a Lord Speaker in the House of Lords. And I also know the MPs are decided, are voted for. I think some of the people that can work there are MPs. Security, cleaners, cooks, tour guides, receptionists. And sometimes the King can actually work there and the Speaker. The UK Parliament is for everyone like you and me. State opening is the main ceremonial event of the parliamentary calendar. It's the only regular occasion where the three parts of Parliament meet. The event begins with the King's procession from Buckingham Palace to the Houses of Parliament and into the Lord's Chamber. Then, the House of Lords official, known as Blackrod, is sent to summon the MPs from the Commons Chamber to listen to the monarch's speech in the Lord's Chamber. Okay, so he's, he's and presenting he with something. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, a norm. form. It's a form. So okay. now he's got a paper and he's reading he's, something he's out. Reading, he's, he's reading like a speech, like you know some people's speech. After state opening finishes, a new parliamentary session has officially started. The places in the UK Parliament are the Central Lobby, the Victoria Tower and Elizabeth Tower. The House of Commons has green seats and the House of Lords has red seats. UK Parliament has three parts. The House of Commons, which is made up of Members of Parliament, or MPs, who are elected to represent their local area, called a constituency. The House of Lords. Members of this house are appointed for their knowledge and experience. Being a member makes you a Baroness or a Lord. And then there's the monarchy, the King or Queen, who mostly has a ceremonial role today. They attend the state opening of Parliament and agree new laws by royal assent. So what colour are the seats in the House of Lords? Red and the Lords from Baroness is sat there. Who wasn't there? The MP. So how do you get to be an MP? How do you get to be an MP? Most people over 18 voted for their MP in their constituency for their party. In the Commons Chamber, there are specific places for MPs to sit, depending on what role they have. There is the speaker in their speaker's chair, making sure everyone is following the rules. Government benches for the governing party MPs to sit in and opposition benches where MPs from every other party sit. The House of Lords has the Lord Speaker, whose role is similar to the speaker in the House of Commons. The Lord Speaker sits on the wall sack in the Lord's chamber. Lords and Baronesses can be members of political parties, so there are government and opposition benches in this chamber too just like the House of Commons. But one thing that's different is that there is a specific area for crossbenchers to sit. These are lords and baronesses who are independent because they don't belong to any political party. Hi, so my name is Nick. I'm one of the Associate Sergeant at Arms. That means you'll often see me in uniform representing the Sergeant at Arms and our role is to maintain the security of the House of Commons Chamber, keep members as safe and respond to any emergencies. So when we're in the chamber, we carry a sword. This is a symbolic sword that represents our authority when we're in the chamber. You need to be a strong leader. You need to be a team player and be able to work with others at all times. You also need to make decisions under pressure and often with not much time to make those decisions. It's about keeping Parliament safe. We've got lots of very, very important people in the country working here, so we need to make sure that they can go about their business in a safe and controlled way. 
UK Parliament Week is a great way to be engaged with Parliament and find out about the building and how decisions on the country are made on behalf of you. In the Chambers, members pass new laws or change existing laws. This is one of UK Parliament's main functions. Members give their opinions on proposed new laws and issues of the day in debates. What do they all shout? Hear! School uniforms should be banned in all schools. Aye! Sometimes when it gets hot, it has too much, there's too much layers and sometimes it's uncomfortable. No! People should wear all school uniform because you can recognise people and see what they're in and they look smart with the uniform. In debates, MPs can voice the concerns and interests of their constituents and members of the Lords can speak about issues brought to their attention by the public. This helps MPs and Lords to reach an informed decision on a subject. When it's time for them to decide, they hold a vote, for or against, called a division. No! Aye! The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Order, order. Prime Minister's questions and ministerial question time also happen in the chambers. These are opportunities for members to check and challenge the work of government. Select committees are groups of MPs or members of the House of Lords set up to investigate specific issues relating to the work of government. The committees look at evidence from experts or members of the public with personal experience of the issue. People of all ages can provide evidence to select committees. And select committees want to hear from a wide range of people who know about the topics they investigate. This helps them understand problems. The different ideas that they hear, and the more people they hear from, the better their work will be. If a petition is started on the UK Parliament Petitions website, it can be a way for people to ask for action from the government. Petitions are an effective way to draw attention to an issue and to make an impact. Anyone can sign a petition and anyone can start one. The more signatures a petition gets, the more impact it has. Get enough signatures and your petition will be considered for a debate in Parliament. Petition debates allow MPs from all parties to discuss the important issues raised by one or more petitions and put their concerns to government ministers. Petition debates can raise awareness of an issue and can influence decision making in the government and UK Parliament. I'm Nikita and I'm an Education and Engagement Campaigns Assistant. My main role at Parliament, lots of exciting things, is that I create resources that go all up and down the country. I think creativity is probably the most important thing, whether you're writing newsletters or you're creating copy or you're creating games. It's your UK Parliament, so I think it's a perfect opportunity for you to learn about your UK Parliament, learn about how your MP represents you, and the resources make it just so easy. So I would definitely recommend take part in UK Parliament Week. The end of a year-long parliamentary session is called prorogation. The end of a five-year parliament is called dissolution. After a parliament is dissolved, there are no MPs, and a general election is called when people can vote for the person they want to represent them in the next parliament. Anyone who wants to be an MP again must stand as a candidate for re-election. Since members of the House of Lords are chosen, not elected, they keep their positions, but all business in the House of Lords ends. Once there has been a general election and the new government has formed, the state opening of Parliament can happen again. Then UK Parliament can continue making laws, checking the work of government and representing you. UK Parliament Week! We are putting up some bunting for the UK Parliament Week. We can learn about democracy, it's like a celebration for democracy and plus it can help you if you want to become like a Prime Minister in the future. So we're calling in the House of Lords. The House of Lords is mostly red so it will be mostly red. I think UK Parliament Week offers an amazing range of resources that are free to download. There's loads of activities for all different ages. My bell is to give food to the homeless people. My bell is having no more homework at school. 
there's an opportunity to go and visit Parliament as well. The website is really fantastic. There's lots of things on there that we looked at. It's fun and you get to learn about how you run the country. UK Parliament Week! UK Parliament Week is an annual event, spreading the word about what Parliament is, what it does and how you can get involved. It's a great way to find out new things about UK Parliament or be reminded of things you might have forgotten. You'll get a free kit to help you get informed about your UK Parliament, take action and make an impact on the issues that you care about. Visit ukparliamentweek.org to find out more. Oh, 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 oh.